Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So we just have a little bit of the latest cryptocurrency news today. And uh, of course, we'll see what my rigs did in the last 24 hours. See you in a bit. All right, real quick, if you're new here and you like free Bitcoin, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I give away Bitcoin every Friday. It's something I do called Bitcoin Fridays, all right? So if you want to be entered to win, you got to know when the video comes out. The only way you're going to know when the video comes out is if you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So do that real quick before we go on, and uh, let's get into the news. All right, so we got two bits of news today involving Mt. Gox and J.P. Morgan. First of all, we'll get into Mt. Gox. Mt. Gox aftermath, Tokyo Whale dumps $230 billion worth of Bitcoin. Uh, Mt. Gox scandal is still plaguing the exchange's creditors. The creditors have chosen an alternative legal process or civil rehabilitation, which can refund their lost investments. This civil rehabilitation has led to Mt. Gox's bankruptcy trustee, Japanese lawyer Nabuki Kobayashi, dumping chunks of Bitcoin in, into the market. Experts have speculated that this is a major factor that has been driving the Bitcoin prices down in the market. Recently, Kobayashi, also known as the Tokyo Whale, has dumped another sizable chunk of Bitcoin into the market. He has sold Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash worth 25.9 billion yen, approximately worth $230 billion. The offloading of Bitcoin is carried out since the 10th creditors meeting held on March 7th, according to a Bloomberg article. Kobayashi disposed of cryptocurrencies worth roughly 42 billion Japanese yen in March, or uh, 35,841 BTC and 34,000 Bitcoin Cash. Um, Kobayashi says, I considered it necessary and reasonable to sell a certain amount of BTC and BCC at this point and secure a certain amount of money for, my, for the distribution resources and thus I sold the amount of BTC and BCC above. I made efforts to sell BTC and BCC as a, at as high a price as possible in light of the market price of both of the currencies at the time of the sale. Uh, crypt, the crypto hack of the century saw investments worth millions lost to hackers in the month of May. 200,000 of lost Bitcoins have been recovered uh, discovered in a digital storage which was in use before the hack. There were frozen at the time of the legal conundrum and has climbed in value. The values far exceed the victim's claims for lost in, uh, investments. So, I guess it's probably right. Could be a reason why the uh, market is still down. Uh, I don't think that's the whole reason. I think it's obviously being manipulated by uh, some bankers, which we'll get into next. JP Morgan attracts over 75 banks to its blockchain payments trial. Uh, the blockchain payment trial launched by JP Morgan in collaboration with Australia's ANZ and the Royal Bank of Canada gets major banking institutions as participants. The interbank payments platform was launched by these three banks last year for faster cross-border payments. The payments platform touted interbank uh, touted Interbank Information Network (IIN) has been in the in, has been in the testing phase for 11 months. According to Financial Times report, the platform has had over 75 banks signing up for the trial phase. Uh, the banks that sign up for IIN includes Societe Generale and Santander, among others. The banking world is seeing a large influx of financial institutions preferring blockchain-based transactions for faster, cheaper, and secure payment methods. So look at that. The banking world and financial institutions are preferring blockchain. I don't, you know, if, if that's not bullish, I don't know what is. Uh, blockchain is a way to keep more of that business in-house, according to Jason Goldberg, bank analyst at J.P. Morgan. IIN is a payments platform built on the Ethereum-based blockchain network called Quorum. The trial focuses on payments that shows errors or get held up for compliance reasons. These problems usually require that all the parties involved in the transaction to find a solution. 
The new platform will allow banks to execute transactions worth 14,500 per day. This figure is the initial estimate and is expected to grow as the new banks join the initiative. IIN will enhance the client experience, decreasing the amount of time from weeks to hours and costs associated with resolving payment delays. Blockchain, capa blockchain capabilities have allowed us to rethink how critical information can be sourced and exchanged between global banks, said Emma Lofus, head of global payments and foreign exchange for JP Morgan Treasury Services. So anyone out there who says that uh, blockchain is going to die, you know, Bitcoin is going to die, they're just, as far as I'm concerned, they're just idiots. Why would JP Morgan, one of the biggest banks in the world, along with 75 under other banks, take an 11-month trial so far over uh, blockchain technology and, you know, transfer, payment transfers and everything else? It just doesn't make sense if them to spend all the time and resources if they're not actually going to use blockchain technology in the future. So for those uh, naysayers out there, um, you guys are stupid. All right, so let's get into what the rigs did overnight. Total slight mine, 23.18. Micro Bitcoin, I'm sitting at 49.19. Elliott Corn, 446. And just over one Ethereum Classic. I did get a payout of Ethereum Classic. I now have 11.1 for $129.65. Uh, let me see here. Scroll down a little bit. So far, we're sitting at $21 this week. Um, we only did $21.72 last week. And I think that is greatly in part to the micro Bitcoin I'm mining. $4.23. So if this price of 0 0.0086 holds and it's true, which I, I think it should be because that's what it's um, buying and selling for on average on the one exchange it's on. And with the amount of micro Bitcoin you can mine per day, um, that's a pretty, pretty profitable coin right now. So those of you guys watching, you may want to look into mining micro Bitcoin for a little bit. Because you can get a good amount. I haven't been mining all week with this micro Bitcoin. If you guys remember when I started, I was doing LA coin for about a day, day and a half so far this week. Which started uh, last Thursday night. So I still got two more days of mining micro Bitcoin. The way it's going, I'm probably going to be at maybe 8,000 micro Bitcoin. So that figure right here will probably go up to about $9. Um so again, I mean, it's a profitable coin right now. Um, not too many people are mining it. Uh, at least it's that I'm aware of because the difficulty is still, you know, somewhat low, especially if I'm able to get this amount of uh, coins every day. Anyways, guys, I guess that's going to be it for today. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell below. Um, again, spread the word. If you like the video, hit that like button. I'd appreciate that as well. Any questions or comments, put them down below. Um, I always try and get back to everybody, okay? So with that, guys, have yourself a good day. Take care. Bye.